I start out with just standing in the back. Not to glorify anybody, but I'm just saying you have to give who you owe to. She put a mirror in front of me, and I was dressed very casual. And she really, she told me, take off your clothes, I changed in the bathroom, and go and put on the suit. And then I am like, why am I putting on the suit? Let me put on the suit. Look, Susan, God has big things for you. Look at yourself now in the mirror. And I saw myself in the mirror and I couldn't recognize myself. Mm, I thought myself as a little person, I didn't want to accept the truth. I, I didn't want to accept that God has made things for me. I, I don't only want to bash you, I want to also console you. Amen. I want to tell you that God has made things for you. Amen. When I realized that and I stared there, and I, I, sometimes maybe she thinks that I'm not receiving the word because I'm very quiet. I love to, to, to listen to everything because I, I sometimes I write it down. Sometimes I go and I tell my mom and my dad and they don't understand me. But I went to my mom that night and I was like, Mama, I got dressed. And then it was a dress. Maybe it wasn't the suit. But I saw what God saw in me. My God, my God. And it was a truth my God. that I didn't believe. I thought that I wasn't going to be anybody. I thought that I was going to sit in that same place where you're sitting at. I thought I was never going to grow. There were people here that used to preach. Oh my God, I used to be like, wow, I was a fan. But then I realized I can't be a fan of anybody. Amen. Because the only person I got to be a fan of is Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the one I'm rooting for. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we see that we are perishing because we refuse to love the truth. We refuse not to hear that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. That is a dissolution that you're eating. It's a dissolution you're consuming. You're being bashed every single day with this word, prosperity. You're being bashed in the head constantly about this prosperity. But you don't love the truth. You don't love correction. You don't love it when somebody comes and tells you, don't do it. Mm. Again, I go back to it because that's what I'm supposed to preach about amen, today. Amen, that's right. I go back to it because you have to understand that when somebody tells you, don't do this, don't do it. When it I'm not talking about if somebody tells you, don't study, don't study. No, I'm talking about do the correct. You know what's the correct. You amen, got amen. common sense. Amen, amen. That's Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Father God. You are worthy to be praised, my God. I want to turn to Mark 13, 20. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the word Mark... 1320 reads, if the Lord ha had not cut short those days, no one will survive. But for the sake of the elect, elect whom he had chosen, he has shortened them. So because of me, he has shortened them. Oh, I like that. It says, that, it says, at the time, if anyone says to you, look here, it says, is the Christ, or look there, he is, don't believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will appear and perform signs and miracles and deceive the elect if that were possible. So we stop there. There's a man that's called Lukash Luna. Yeah, I'm hitting everybody today. He says, I'm Jesus. What is it? I'm, I'm Holy Spirit Junior. No, 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 no. He's God is my parent. I'm his that that you can't like God is the, the, the God over me. I can't say I'm I'm God because I fall from the, the grace of God all Amen. the time. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. Reaching God. I mean sister. No, Amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. It's all right, sister. <laughs> So I realized this, hallelujah. I'm like, you know what? Satan is a liar. Amen. And I'm going to close my Bible, but I might open it again. And I am. Hallelujah. I started researching Satanism. Not because I want to be part of it. 
Because I want to see what's behind it all. I want to see who's the lying spirit and how he works. So I began to research as the nerd that people say I am. I don't believe so. I just want to be knowledgeable. I don't want to be ignorant. And I realized that there's an interview on YouTube, and I will post it up so you guys can see it. You have to be in the spirit to see it, because when you see it, you might be scared or something. You never know. This is a spiritual thing, and it's not good, and these people are possessed by demons, and they speak, and you see them like, wow, that, that's not of God, but you got to be in the spirit to see this, because you could get scared, and I don't want that, but I researched it for you. Glory to God. And in this person this person was interviewing these satanism people and it was a woman and a man the man his ear was stuck to his head he looked weird he looked awful and he looked possessed and the woman had a spirit of Jezebel she was very seductive very I don't know there was a spirit inside of her that I'm like man uh, she's she's not pretty I don't care how pretty people tell me she is because when I say pretty to her I'm saying pretty to a demon and I'm not going to have it so basically she's talking and it was an interview done in the 80s and in the 80s we realized that they're speaking of the future like they know it they said this is the time where the, big, the, the new era is coming in, which is 2000, right? And every decade, which is, it's a, the era is, a, can someone correct me? An era is, is a, a, like a 2000, and a, um, a decade is 10 years. Amen, yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And basically, it says, the, all right, so there's a new era that's coming, which is the year 2000. And that era is, might be the golden age for Christians. It might just be it. But you just know what it says. But after that, that era, within that era, there's going to be a point. It says that in, in a kingdom, there's always a golden age. And as soon as they hit the golden age, it comes down. Amen. So we realize that within that, what they're saying is that, yeah, that's going to be the high point, but it's going to fall. So when I realized that, I'm like, okay, she's going on to something because I'm going to heaven. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I realized that many are going to be lost. Because what she said is that we, our greatest weapon is the entertainment. Mm. It says the entertainment is something like, let me put it like this. Let me go back. Um, I know history class, hallelujah. I remember the Romans had like the Colosseum where they used to have like people used to um, t um, be torn up by lions just because they wanted to be entertained. We're living in this, uh, this place, this era where we really like to see people get torn up. Oh my gosh, she died. Oh, that's so funny, huh? We don't, that sense of having a heart for somebody that doesn't exist. And God said it, that many hearts will be hardened. Glory to God, hallelujah. And we realize that she says that the entertainment has pierced, pierced the church. She says, now they're part of us. Mm. Do you realize that she's saying, now the church is now a part of us? My God. Oh my God. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not my church. It's not the potter's house. I'm sorry because every time I go there, all they talk about is about sanctity. It's about going to another level. It's not my church. So what church is it talking about? It's talking about the prosperity church. And if you go on YouTube, it's full of these videos where they're doing things like, like they don't even speak the Bible. They don't speak word. I see there's another guy. I don't want to give no, no fame to nobody, so I'm going to stop naming names. But there's this pastor's wife that when she goes on to, to um, preach, she says that when she talks, um, when she calls upon the, the, she called upon the name of Jesus, she calls him devil. Because she's just so hyped up and saying her words, she doesn't even realize what she's saying. She's saying these dumb things that she, is that that spirit, that lying spirit, it sells itself out. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And then I'm like, you know what? This is some crazy stuff, God. For real, cut the day short. And she continues and she says that basically they use the entertainment that has pierced the church. And they're part of their team. And they start laughing. And 
the way they laughed is not like ha 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 no like huh, like that the weird ha like that ha 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 type thing and i'm like wow this is some crazy stuff oh my God. 